Well, where does Pochettino go from here? Because he's pretty much done as much as you could realistically expect Spurs to achieve. Yeah, he has. And, and it's, when you compare his budget he's had to spend over yeah. the last couple of years compared to the other big boys in, in not only the Premier League but in Europe, he's punching massive, massively yeah. above his weight. So I think he's just the frustration must lie within there that he's frustrated at not being back properly financially. Yes, he spent some big money on, on Dombele, yeah. but... I think he needed more in this in this window to, to go again and push. They've got the new training ground, they've got the new stadium. It's time to pu put money into the into this squad now and really give him a chance to go and get some silverware. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the one thing point, people point at him, isn't it? Yeah. There's 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 no silverware. Is Absolutely. That, is that a genuine issue? Do you yes, think? I think it is. I mean, you're in the game to win things, you know. Yeah. Uh, it's the way you win them. It's important as well. But uh, the problem with Tottenham at the moment, as I've said before, you've got a set of players and a manager that want some silverware. They want to win something for Tottenham. They've put so much work in the last four, five, six years. But you've got a set of uh, owners that want to... They have to be in the top four to be in the Champions League. Mm. They're happy with that. To them, is success at the moment with the new stadium, new training ground, blah, blah, blah. They have to be in the top four. But... It doesn't, it's not in harmony, is it? Mm. It, it? You know, you've got a set of players saying, hang on, we want to be in the top four, yeah, but we want to win. I something. suppose the problem comes eventually with the likes of maybe, you know, Harry Kane, etc. that there comes a point where they have to look at their own careers. It, however loyal you are to a football club, you, there comes a point where you go, actually, I need to win something. So it's one of those what comes first, isn't it? Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, but I think people forget, everyone talks about, oh, they need to win silverware, they haven't won for so long, but... Um, People forget where Tottenham were yeah. before Pochettino and where they are now. He's moved the club on so, so far. And now people expect them in the Champions League and they, they now expect the possibility for them to challenge for the Premier League. And they were a million miles away from that before he arrived. If you look at it as, as if you're an individual and put yourself in like Harry Kane's shoes, yeah. as you're saying, yeah. I'm off. I've got to be honest with you, I'll be gone. Because I've not got time to hang around. I yeah. could get injured next season. I could lose form, etc. I want to win now. I've, I've given most of my career... To this club, but they and, did and they go very gone. close to winning the yeah, biggest but club. You, you go times. very close. Yeah. You can keep going very close. They've been yeah. close a few times to well, winning the league, and then obviously the, the Champions the League. Point it's point not, is it's Liverpool not went very close. Yeah. And but they what invested. did they do? They invested yeah. in the yeah. right two players. Only two players went on, went back, and won it. So can Tottenham do that? It's going to be a big ask. I can, I can understand Ericsson. You can understand Ericsson's yeah, frustrations yeah, yeah. and wanting to leave and say, I want to go somewhere to potentially win something, not be a near a maybe. It's such a fine line, though, because they're not far away. Like you say, it's, it's, it's a couple of players, yeah. two, three players away from challenging. Okay.